Hello there everyone, my name's Identity, and welcome to another Weapons Reaction. This is where we take a look at a weapon, and see whether or not it's overpowered, underpowered, needs a nerf, or needs a buff. Today's weapon is... The Crail. Interesting name choice. And my gosh, does that weapon just not look terrifying. Like, seriously, that is a creepy weapon there. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Doesn't that just look a little bit, like, creepy to be a medic gun? Now then, let me just point out one of the big falters with this weapon. The only thing that's really gonna hurt your team when you use this weapon is this little line right here. No overheal. Now, all medics can agree, overheal can be a good thing, quite a lot. It can help a push, save a life, and it's just an overall good use. Considering none of us have armor, we have overheal. In fact, that's the trade-off for Overwatch. Instead of having overheal, they chose armor. So it's interesting for someone to go in a direction of no overheal but to be completely fair when you see what this weapon does it's understandable nice design i love the design <laughs> <laughs> also, is it just me, or does this one look a bit more like it's uh, homemade? Like it's one of Medic's earlier prototypes? I don't know if that's just me, but I kind of got the feeling like this looks like a prototype almost. I don't know, what do you think? That just looks nice. I am charged. So we've got a standard medic gun that averagely repairs 25 HP. Not bad. And that, and that overcharge comes real quick. Making this qu like the quick fix in ways. Such as, don't save up your overcharge, that's for stock. Re pop it quick and your teammates will thank you. something the less overheal you have the quicker your uber charge is I don't know I just thought that was kind of funny We are a 
about to make all spies cringe in three, two, one. Are you scared yet? How about now? Scared now? To all pyromains that don't use the phlogistonator, good luck air blasting this. <laughs> just like replace the stock with a direct hit, and that's just terrifying. Oh, what's even scarier? How about a soldier moving the speed of a scout? This can get really useful if you have a player that's good but gets killed often because he's good. In which, if you need to get him into the front lines quick, pop your uber. Like I said before, this is a type of medic gun that heals quickly and gets its uber up quickly. So there's no such thing as wasting an uber for this one. Remember the scene with Pyro, because I'll come back to this in a little bit, but this is one of my problems with the weapon. Now, here's one of my main problems with the gun. It's probably, though, just me. Does it really look like it has much of an effect on the miniguns and the flamethrowers? I don't know if it's just me because there's no reloading animation for these weapons. Which is probably why. I'm not so sure. It just looks weird to me. I don't know. To me though, this just doesn't look like the best Uber for a heavy that's uh for a heavy or a pyro that's dependent on their primary weapons. Maybe that's just me, or maybe that was the creator's idea to make medics less glued to their heavy girlfriends. And Pyro just had to step in there as well. <laughs>
Okay. Now that's scary. I've only seen this in Team Fortress in TF2 upgrade. But to see a heavy not only move at the speed of a scout, but to move at the speed of scout while revved up. The brass beast just might be useful, folks. I repeat, the brass beast just might be deadly. Another interesting. I wonder if that was intended. If this was the reason why the medic gun gets an uber charge so quickly, was it also designed to help engineers out? This has got to be the one class that I see this weapon working the most with. Surprisingly, think about it. Imagine for Uncle Dane. He's got his usual loadout. You know, shotgun. Uh, his favorite wrench, the Jag. And then his buddy, like a race 7, comes up and heals him. Uber charges him with this, and his sentry and dispenser are up in like two seconds. I don't know. When I see this sentry go up, though, so quickly, I just can't help but to think that this might have been. Like, the creator of this weapon might have taken some inspiration from Uncle Dane. Which. To be fair, let's face it. So, yeah, that's all. I'm moving this. That there wasn't getting any lighter. I just say that that looks like the times 10 medic like really that just looks like medic in times 10 oh gosh what if we did that with the blood sauger it's battle medic all over again hey hey array seven I, I found a way to make Battle Medic even more terrifying. Just say hi to the Medic Scout. You know when you got that, when you're on 2 Fort and you're trying to just have a normal game? And all of a sudden, this pro sniper just comes around and starts one head and shotting like this scout until he gets a domination on him. Here's how to make that sniper even more annoying. I like how the fact, despite the fact that he's got no moving targets, he still missed the head. You know, this may make the SMGs a more viable secondary. I, I know it's not very accurate properly, but that's still scary. That doesn't make me feel- Just give him an arrow, a danger Darwin shield, and 
any one of those machetes. Probably the one that makes you bleed, because that hurts the most. That is a terrifying force right there. how much faster the uber charge is. And... Alright, let's see if we can stop this at just the right time. Alright, got that perfectly. So by the time the other teammate can have 42% uber charge, you will have already gotten 100. Wow. That is just assuming that the other medic doesn't already get shot headshot, backstabbed, or burned alive, or turned into a lead cushion by the other team, or just flat out be Gibbs, that even by the time he gets 24% uber charge, and that's just if his targets haven't been completely ignoring him, or running off when they're not supposed to, he'll only get 24% over. This is a medic gun that is meant to not only be a nuisance to the other team, but is meant to scare them. This is the type of weapon that can be scared off by... That's meant to scare the other team into not only focusing on that medic, but making sure that their medic is the only thing. Because really, what is going to stop this medic? What's going to stop him from making his team faster than scouts? His snipers get two headshots, more like 200 headshots in a mere second. What's going to stop them? An uber charge. An uber charge is going to force that mech to either pop his uber, force pop his uber just to get the speed boost so that they can live, or the uber charge can outlast them. These uber charges most likely still go for eight seconds to the both of them. And therefore, it's best to have that uber charge to survive the damage, I guess. Either they'll wait for your uber to go off, or <laughs> hope that they can hit you before you get it on. A bit, another counter I could see for this weapon, though, is the Crits Creed. Once again, that is another weapon that will probably eat through this weapon. One of my complaints through this demonstration is that it does not show how well does this weapon heal its targets while the uber is active. With the quick fix, it's we can see that it's just instant healing. Snap, snap, snap. But that can't save you from a random crit. When it comes to a crit's creed and a quick fix, the Crix Creed's gonna win an Uber Charge because the critical hits just eat through the overheal. So what happens when someone gets shot? Like, let's say this heavy gets a no gets a quick scoped sniper shot, and that does hundred and fifty damage. That's a lot for a heavy, as that'll bring him down to <laughs> uh, 250. That's a good small health pack right there. Or enough need to scare most heavy mains for a sand bitch. Will the medic gun heal that quickly, though? And how quickly will it heal that? That's something we need to know. Now then, final judgment here. This is a very interesting weapon. I like this idea quite a bit. When the medic f 
in the video my darkest moment the medic states one thing I could bring people to the peak of health and beyond whenever I see a new medic gun that is the first thing I think of when I think of an idea for a medic gun if I want to make a medic and give him a special type of gun that can help him all I think of is that one line I can bring people to the peak of health and beyond. So then, when it comes to healing, can I do that while making him, while making him live up to that word, this, that one sentence? And by gosh, does this medic gun ever complete that? This is not just healing. It's not some weird overhealing stuff too, like they don't magically grow an aura in which they don't take damage for a little bit. No, this is healing in which it makes them physically stronger. Their bodies are, the mind is detaching from the nerve cells. Pain is probably disappearing, which is allowing their muscles to move at exponential growth. To them, the world is going at normal speed they're just going really fast though. Or probably to us, everything's just going by really slow. But I like this medic gun quite a bit. My only complaint through this whole thing, through this whole looking through the stats is that we can't really see how well does it take damage while you're being hit. Sir, that soldier looks nice getting his four rockets in point blank, but what happens when a sniper shoots him in the head and brings his, ha his health bar down to half? How quickly does it take for that to heal up while uber charged? Does the healing stay the same in which it's 25 health per second? That's still good, but I'd like to know. That's all I've got to say about this weapon, really. My name's Identity. Have a good one.